Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my quest for the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series in the NASCAR 07 Chase for the Cup. We're here at round three at Cannes. No, actually it's at Talladega. Not that I'm complaining. You see, I'm actually quite good at Talladega in this game. I'll explain more as we get into the race, uh, except for a few caveats. Yeah, Roy, the number 10 Dodge Charger is on the pole. And here we go. Let's bring the noise. I'm not very good at restarts at the plate tracks. I don't know why. I just don't seem to time my shift very well. So it's quite strange. You see here, I'll get a good start and then in the middle. Nope. Jimmy Johnson's breezed by me on the outside. To be honest, at the moment, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm good. Kevin Harvest give me a push, only because I'm blocking his ass. So, no, Kevin, let's not play silly buggers. Let's not do that. But you see, look, I'm just losing positions. Down sixth. Now I'm up to speed. But as you can see, I went from first to sixth on the opening lap alone. It was even worse than some of the lower categories, because you take, you spend longer getting up to speed. So, it was a bit trickier there, but now I'm in the draft. And I'm up to speed. I'm on the inside of Jeff Gordon, so I'm on the fight back. I'm going to minimize the damage on the opening lap, and we are round to fourth place as we complete that one. Now, I'm not sure. Yes, no, he's clear. So let's move up, and let's pull my little trick for this race, because this is the key to winning here at Talladega. There's two things interesting about plate racing in this game. Number one, it's not realistic at all how it was in 2006 or 2007 at all. But I quite like it for that. The best way to describe the plate racing in this game is like a mix of 1980s and 1990s kind of old school style without any packs. And the tandem racing that wouldn't come out until at least two or three years after this game was made. This game has the share draft mechanic where you can see I'm using, uh, rather than just sucking up to the back of Kurt Busch and shoving his back bumper, I'm actually, you know, sort of sharing the draft. I always manage to slow down a little bit. Uh, he gets more of a push, I get more of a pull. So we're sort of working together. This is a great way to make friends, incidentally. I've not been making many friends so far in this chase, as you probably noticed. It's sort of like the tandem thing, and this is the best way to describe it, because if you get together with someone out in front, you can almost tandem away into a good lead and sort of be on your own. And I've won a few races, kind of like how the races at Talladega ended in 09 and 2010, you know, where you know someone would cut to the inside in the tri-oval and make the win, like Greg Keselowski and Carl Evans in 2009, except without cars flying into the fence. And, you know, Kevin Harvick and Jamie McMurray is probably the best comparison I can think of. Oh, oh, a little bit of squish there. I like about the AI in this game. They're aggressive and all track. And, oi, don't you leave me, you git. I have stayed loyal to you, even when you were suspended. And everyone was saying you did do it and you were a disgusting person. I said loyal to you. And this is how you repay me. This is how you... Sorry, we're having a bit of a domestic on the track here. Jimmy Johnson was like, yeah, you continue having a domestic. I'm just going to continue leading. No, here comes Kurt Busch. He's back. Now, it is quite difficult to get them to overtake. They are a little bit risk averse. Sometimes they'll be side by side and they'll go, no, no, that's not quite enough room. But here we go. We've got a good tandem going and we are taking it to the lead. Dodge it to the lead, baby. Here we go. Kurt Busch to the lead. A triumphal return from suspension. I mean, no, actually, no. Wrong time frame at all. So hopefully what we can do now is just tandem away from these guys behind. If you share the drop, you can just leg it from them. It is like a never-ending tandem. At least the tandems in real life, you sort of slingshot away and then the rest of the field will sort of gang up and then sort of overpower you again. But here you can just keep going and what that does also is it fills up that little achievement bar on the right you can see it just topping up the longer you share the draft the more numbers you get you also get that for things like making clean overtakes making passes for the lead leading laps fastest laps things like that uh and then, there you go you see there because i was using the share draft thing i was about to run into the back of kurt bush and give him a push there <laughs> push with bush that's a bit of rhyming innuendo filth there well we're out on our own well okay i said that I said the whole share draft thing wouldn't have us bump, but it uh, turns out we did. So, yeah, some of that Kurt wasn't meant to be, but uh, because we've drafted for about seven laps straight, we are now the best of mates. I'm now bros with him. I'm like, we're, we're, this is like the NASCAR equivalent of a bromance up front here. Okay, so would you just get out of the front here? Oh, no! What have I done? Oh, God, what have I done? Um, oh, God. No, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh, God. What have I done? Um, help. Let me take control of my car. Whoa! Oh, God, that's not gone well at all. What? Oh, God. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, you can tell that I've never used the switch cars function before in this game. When I came back, he was trying to go for the lead. That wasn't the plan at all. Now Kurt's dropped me. Oh, God. Just calm down. We're all right. We're good. And uh, Matt Kent's trying to make a move. Don't go on the yellow lines. Don't do that. You're not Dale and not Junior. You won't get away with it. The uh, strategy is okay. But as you can see there... A function of this game, I, I didn't know if it was still in the game, I thought it was just exclusive to NASCAR 06, is the ability to switch into your teammates' cars. 
And as you can see there, there's a reason why uh, I've never done it before and likely never to do it. I just like to control my own destiny. Especially when my teammates are way back in the pack. I mean, what are they going to do? Now, it's also worth pointing out that I'm terrible at getting into the pits in these games. I'm really not good. So in one of my test races, I also copped a bit of a speeding penalty in the pits. So... And this was obviously just when humans used to police the pits rather than NASCAR's really fancy computer system full of computers and cameras and computers and oh my god they can see everything. They are the all-seeing eye. Great, 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 still a bit too fast. No, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep. Now I'm really starting to get convinced that my crew is basically the Days of Thunder pit crew because they're not very good. They're kind of slow. Well, actually, they're, no, they're not too bad this time. They're not too bad this time. They did have a horrendous cock-up in one of our practice races, but they completely managed to misplace one of the tyres altogether. Now what I'm hoping for, I've now just got to stay out of the way, wait for everyone else to pit, which they will do in the next couple of laps, and hope I can find a drive partner and pray to the gods on high that there isn't a caution. Because if there is, I am so... <laughs> I am screwed up the arse without a condom and no lube. Trying to play a little bit more of a strategy game here. Mainly because I know I've got a chance to win here. So I don't want to screw it up if at all possible. You can see a few of them are up to speed. No, Kevin Harvick is not quite up to speed enough. So we'll stay there. We are well up to speed and we're doing... We have got a good pace going. We've got a little draft off them. So we're fine. Ah, hello. Now who's this? Who are you? You're Jimmy Johnson. And we are probably going too fast. Probably going too fast. So I'm going to slingshot by and hit the ball. So, you see what I mean though, you see what I mean, you've got to be careful, you've got to be careful. Now he was near the front last time, so that's quite encouraging. Come on little dodge, everything you have, everything you have. I just need to be up front, just in it to win it basically. In it to win it, Blad. I'm more tense than I was in the previous races because in the previous races I knew I was terrible at those tracks, so it didn't make much a jot of difference. But now, there's a chance I could win this thing and really kickstart my chase, so I, I just... I'm paranoid. I have found every single way to lose here and a few ways to win. So we will see. Right. Here we go. Kurt Busch is there. Let's see if we can lock on to him. Share the draft. No, that's not going to work. That hasn't worked. That hasn't worked. Okay. Definitely wasn't up to speed. Right. Uh, I'm just going to take the lead. <laughs> you know what? Sodja, I'm taking the lead. Matt Kenseth is steadily closing in. I've got one eye on that mirror. He is very slowly inching back in. Very slowly. We know the AI in this game are pretty aggressive. So we'll see what happens here. Yes, he is definitely closing in. We were about to go one on one for the EA Sports 500 on. Uh, who would it have been back in the. NBC, I think. Yeah, this would have been before TNT. Uh, no, not TNT. Uh, ESPN. This would have been before ESPN showed up. So. <laughs> so many TV networks. So many acronyms. So little time. We are side by side. Trying to let off and let him through. He is shown as in front. And he's in front. Right. Here we go. Operation sod off is go. Also, this will help. I'm saving a little bit of fuel. I stuck up behind Matt Kenseth. So hopefully, the two of us should be able to leg it from those two and make it a straight fight between us. Ooh, this is tense. This is this is very tense. This is like a 194, 93, 94 mile an hour game of chess. Where at any point, someone else on the other chess tables could throw their chess table onto ours and ruin our game. Righty ho, two laps to go through the trial of multiple time. It'll be about now in the commentary box that Aaron Reynolds would start exploding about how the finish line's not in the trial. Well, it's beyond the trial. We're down to turn one. Like that. Um, perhaps with a slightly worse accent. So the white flag has dropped. Here we go. It is a straight fight now between me and Matt Kenseth for the victory in the EA Sports 500 here at Talladega Super Speedway. My fuel light is blinking at me, but that's no problem. Down the back for the final time. Matt Kenseth is already bobbing and weaving. He is expecting a move at any point now. He's ex I know exactly when I'm going to make my move. Is he going to be able to defend it? Oh, this is so tense now. We have left the field behind. When do I make the move? When do I make the move? Here we go. Here we go. I've switched off share the draft. Was that timed right? Was that timed right? Was that timed right? E move it to the inside now! Here we go! My voice is breaking. This is how tense it is. To the lead! To the lead! We're still side by side. He's pulled it behind! I think I've timed it to perfection. Here we go! We're gonna win! Yes! Yes! Woo! A beaten up Valvoline Dodge Charger takes the win at the UAW Ford 500. So it wasn't the EA Sports 500 at all. Never mind. I'll tell you what, what a way to bounce back. After my miserable, miserable day at Dover. And as you can see, back up to fifth in the chase standings. I've been a bit of a U uh, UFO. <laughs> a bit of a yo-yo. Not a YOLO or a UFO. A yo-yo in the chase standings. I went, I uh, started in sixth, then down to tenth, and now I'm back up to fifth. Well, that was a good race, wasn't it? I hope you've enjoyed this one. My first victory of the 2006-7 chase campaign. 
and Scott Riggs and the number 10 Valvoline Dodge Charger have got a win on the board. Here we go. So we'll see you next time at... I assume it's Kansas. I assume they just swapped the tracks around. But wherever we turn up next time, you'll be the first to hear about it. And I can't wait for you to lock in there as well. And in the meantime, subscribe and like and share this video around and say it's awesome. Go watch it. Do all that old doobly-doo. And I'll see you next time.